Hi everybody, Sarah Grillo here. Thank you so much for tuning in once again and please subscribe. This video is about what you should not do the day after the CFA exam. I also made a video called what to do the day after the CFA exam, but these are the things that a lot of people do that you shouldn't do and I'm telling you this to protect you from these things happening, okay? because they're very bad for you. And I'm sorry for the impromptu nature of this video. I just wanted to get this message out the next day. This is my family time, so you're going to hear my little girl in the background, but... <coughs> see? There you go. <laughs> um, I just want to get this out to you, okay? Um, so here's what you should not do. Don't obsess and dwell over this. Now, if you didn't do as well as you thought, first of all, you never know. I, just for the record, every single time I took an exam, I never thought I passed ever, okay, the exam is designed that way, remember it's a really hard exam, the, the percentage um, pass rate is very low, so don't try to even guess about it, okay, don't obsess about it, just, if you really feel bad about it, then you have the right to grieve, you do, grieve, but then move on, because remember that there's so much money to be made out there, if you're smart enough and hardworking enough to even attempt the CFA exam, then I'm sure there are other things you could be doing with your time so that you can be even more successful than you were with that, okay? There's lots of opportunity out there every day. Don't waste your time because you're going to be losing money, right? If you think about it, like the reason you're doing all of this is to accumulate assets. You can do it one way or the other. The CFA exam is not the only way. Take five minutes after this video and grieve and then move on by watching my what to do after the CFA exam video. Okay. Um, don't talk to other people in a hyped way. Like there are so many people that are like, oh, the economics on level one was so hard. What did you get for this question? Or how did you do? It's like, don't have those how did you do conversations. They're so annoying. Remember, there's a lot of posturing. And I think even subconsciously, people want to make themselves feel better by talking to other people and hearing from other people that they didn't do well. That's always the answer that they want to hear. So um, the thing is like, don't buy into that. Be focused on yourself. And my suggestion is that when somebody asks you if you think you passed or failed, just say, oh, thanks so much for asking. The exam went fine. Even if it didn't go fine, just say it went fine. Don't give them the satisfaction of hearing you say that you didn't do well. Just don't do that, okay? There were some areas where I could have been better prepared, but we'll see in a few months what the results were. And then end the conversation. Don't bring yourself down mentally. Remember, this is about positive, positivity, positive action, energy. You're moving in the right direction. Just by taking this and doing this, you have moved so far in the right direction that it's not even funny. Don't let other people ruin that for you. And most of all, don't ruin yourself. So say yes to your own success. Watch my video about what you should be doing the day after the CFA exam. It's also on this channel. And please subscribe and share this with other people that you think could hear it. Thanks so much.